Hey guys, let's do another video uh, about some of the difficulties we're going to have as a community finding content for Rebutter. This is going to be our, big, our first um, real hurdle that we have to overcome because the objective of the app is to enable people to be browsing the web and then go, ah oh, look there's a rebuttal to this, click on it, open it up, boom they've got their rebuttal there. That's what we're trying to deliver. But finding it without Rebutter, without having the tool in place, it's actually very challenging particularly if you try and do it uh, in the direction that you want to deliver it. Meaning, if you want to start working through articles on a newspaper like this today, I don't know, pick an article and then decide, I want to find a rebuttal to this article. It's really, really hard to find them, which is exactly the point of making a rebutter. Um, there, there's no system in place to find them. You have to use Google. And um, I have an example here that I... Uh, this is this is the um, the web episode of a daily show. It's obviously not available in Australia, but I watched this yesterday, and I spent over an hour trying to find a rebuttal to this two thirds of the episode about Bain Capital and private equity firms. I spent about an hour searching everything I could think of. I was trying to think as out of the box as I could, um, and I found thousands of articles reposting the information saying John Stewart ripped into Mitt Romney and yay. John Stewart's great and Mitt Romney's crap and private equity firms are crap, crap and whatever. But it's really hard to find a rebuttal to it. And I'm actually suspecting, and this is one of the problems of doing it that way, not only is it possible that you just can't think of the search terms that you need or that the articles that are written that are rebuttals to it simply are so far down the search results or not indexed at all that you just can't find them. It's also possible there actually aren't any. Um, there's so much support for this position that John Stewart presents here, that it may actually be the case that nobody actually disagrees with it, uh, at least not strongly enough to form a coherent argument on it. So I probably just wasted an hour trying to find a rebuttal that doesn't exist. Um, but the alternative perspective, the other way of doing it, is how most of the content actually exists in rebuttal to this, at this point. This is a blog of a... Um, a philosopher that I've been following for a while. He's a he's an editor of a book called um, Voices of Disbelief. Um, so he's in the uh, Why We Are Atheists is the subtitle. So he's a um, an atheist. And anyway, this I get updates every now and then, mostly via Facebook about things that he's written. And so I followed through to this about the same time we were making Roboto, and. This was quite an obvious thing to do. As soon as I saw this page, it's like, okay, I'm seeing this meme, but it won't go away. And that links back to the article that is rebutting. It's typical of any rebut. First thing they do is link to what it is that they're replying to. And so this is an article in the mail about the shrill atheism of Dawkins. Now, if you go and find this article, I haven't tested this, but I challenge you to try and find a rebuttal to it. If you start from this point, try and find actually no, now I think about it, it may actually be easy to find this because I know that um, this has been picked up by Richard Dawkins Foundation and being copied a couple of times but having had this delivered to me it's very easy to connect it back to that article so now when you read this article there's a rebuttal to it which takes you to to this page so that's very easy to do um, so similarly similarly today um, he made a post on Facebook that he had written this and straight away you can see just for the record Kavanaugh is a critic of his writing in response to an earlier piece by me that is in turn based on material in chapter 3 so straight away by finding this something he posted today we've already got the tail end of a two or three part discussion so I can click through each of these back to the beginning and add every single step to the rebutter process um, so anyway, the point that I'm getting at is it seems like the only practical way to add rebuttals to rebutter is to find the rebuttals first and work backwards. So in order to do that, we need to find people like Russell Blackford here. That's his blog. His name's not around anyway. We need to find these people and subscribe to them uh, and follow their blogs so that we can find the rebuttals. Um, I don't know of any other practical way to do it. Uh, trying to start from the original article the original arg argument or the original article is just going to be impractical I think and 
mostly a waste of our time trying to find the rebuttals. But you start with a rebuttal and the article just is handed to you. So um, we'll work on ways to uh, get around that, hopefully find a solution.